At Dassault Aviation, they have long used virtual reality to help design their aircraft before they build the simulators or bend some metal in the real world. We can, from start, bring our pilots here and they try for themselves uh, the new cockpit design. And they say, okay, uh, maybe I don't like the position of the side stick. Maybe you, you'd better move the panel a little bit to the left or to the right. Maybe I'd like the screen bigger or something. But engineer Igor Fain has taken the idea to a whole new level. He's created a virtual reality system that makes it easy to bring technicians in training behind the cabinets and under the skin of Falcon business jets. We wanted a system that is simple. You don't have to train to use it. Uh, you tried it for yourself. You just have to put on the headset and then you do the operation yourself. You have a look and you put your hands in the system and you try for yourself. All right, here we go. I'm coming in. He took Dassault's Alex Fouillard and me on a fantastic voyage. Hey, how are you, man? <laughs> oh, wow, cool. Good to see you. Alex, you're the green one. Right? She's green. Yeah, okay. So where are we going? Anywhere we like, as it turns out. We should be in the galley right now. I'm a mouse in the galley right now. <laughs> Whoa, how did I get in there? We were mice with the powers of Superman, X-ray vision, and the ability to leap tall falcons in a single bound. All right, you ready, Alex? We're going in. Oh, the places you will go when you take the blue pill and enter Igor's matrix. And if you look up, this is the door to access the S duct uh, for the third engine. The third engine is going to be behind us over there. Uh -huh. And so, for an instructor, it's way easier to explain the system. With this. I say. If we go below the left engine, for instance, in real life, it's completely impossible to remove the upper wing panel as well. And yet, mm -hmm. I'm going to do it here. Oh, wow. And now you can see inside. Oh, so you, could, you couldn't possibly go in there, right? You, you have to you? remove this door. Oh, you could? You. Yeah. you could, but it's a, a difficult operation. And it doesn't matter if there's a big crowd with you. Matter of fact, that's the point. The VR system can handle up to 10 people and one instructor. Uh, the point of it is that uh, during a real training session, uh, mm -hmm. it's uh, 10 trainees and one student. And it's mm -hmm. way more difficult to be 10 in here than uh, in the real life than, uh, than in virtual ones. Plenty of legroom, even in the tightest of places. And tracking devices capture and display hand gestures. The big idea is that you have the ability to go everywhere, even in very narrow spaces, very narrow areas, uh, be 11 in the same spot that is uh, way too small in real life to go inside. And even in this small space, we can look at any parts, have all the information, remove anything and see everything. Igor and the team at Dassault's Immersive Center created this experiential training tool by combining off-the-shelf Oculus Rift headsets with down-to-the-rivet-detail 3D models created by Dassault's Katia design software. <laughs> that is so cool. The nice thing is that we already have all this data, and so we can simply load our Katia data into our system. At Dassault, since it's been more than 30 years that uh, we are investing in Katia, in 3D, in designing our aircraft with Katia, well, this is why we are, I think, a bit ahead in this field. The virtual training sessions are already underway. Classes so far meet in one place, but the system could be used remotely. In the future, we can imagine a distant learning system where one instructor is in Paris and the trainees are all across the world and having a live presentation from an instructor somewhere else of the aircraft. Maybe that could be something interesting and then we have pretty much no limits uh, except the bandwidth. The virtual reality future is closer than I thought. <laughs> Literally. When you see the green, don't try to... Uh, <laughs>